Welcome to a Sugar High News Flash. This is where I bring you current events in diabetes news, updates in research, and developments in diabetes management. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and I hope that you'll find Sugar High to be a place where you can come for relatable diabetes information that's always easy to understand. Today's news flash is all about some recent developments in the medication Trulicity. Researchers recently released the top line results of a clinical trial titled Award 11, which tested some new higher doses in Trulicity for diabetes patients. Currently, Trulicity is available in two doses, 0.75 and 1.5 milligrams once a week. At the higher 1.5 milligram dose, Trulicity has been shown in clinical trials to reduce A1C by about 1.5%. And another well-known benefit of Trulicity is that it helps to promote some weight loss. People at that 1.5 milligram dose usually lose an average of about six and a half pounds. Now, higher doses of medication in this family of drug is nothing new. We already use some higher dose GLP-1 medications for the purposes of weight loss. You may have heard of a medication called Victoza. That's in the same family as Trulicity and a higher dose form of this medication called Saxenda has already been available for several years and we use it as a weight loss medication in non-diabetic patients suffering from obesity. And a much higher dose of the medication Ozempic is also currently in clinical trials for the same purpose. So higher doses of GLP-1 medication have already been shown to be safe for use, but the question has remained of whether these higher doses of the medication would bring any extra improvement in A1C reduction in addition to just the extra weight loss that they cause. In the Award 11 trial, researchers wanted to find out if the higher doses of Trulicity than what we currently use would be more effective in reducing that A1C and to see if it would bring about extra weight reduction. Patients participating in this clinical trial had to be currently treated for type 2 diabetes and they were randomly assigned to either receive Trulicity 1.5 milligrams or three milligrams or 4.5 milligrams, which is three times the current maximum weekly dose. Ready for the results? Patients taking the 4.5 milligram weekly dose achieved a 1.8% reduction in hemoglobin A1C, and they lost an average of 10.1 pounds compared to a 1.5% reduction of A1C and a weight loss of 6.6 .6 pounds in the current maximum dose of 1.5 milligrams. Interestingly, the three milligram double dose didn't offer any statistically significant improvement over the 1.5 milligram dose. Those participants saw a 1.6% average A1C reduction and a weight loss of about 8.4 pounds. Anytime we increase the dose of a medication, we wonder if the side effects are gonna get worse. But at the triple 4.5 milligram weekly dose, the side effect profile was basically the same as what people experience in the 1.5 milligram dose. So as of the date of this video, the approved doses of Trulicity remain at 0.5 and 1.5 milligrams weekly, but the results of the study are being submitted to the United States FDA and regulatory authorities in Europe for consideration of a higher dose. Only time will tell whether those regulatory authorities will approve the higher dose based on these findings, but it's always fun to get a possible glimpse into the near future of diabetes treatment. Thanks for tuning in to this Sugar High News Flash. I hope you found the information helpful and interesting, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button to keep up on everything new and current in diabetes management. I'll see you soon in the next video.